Hey guys, the Contra Postal Shop here. Today we build our CNC router with 3D printed parts. But before we dive in, we're sorry for our absence on YouTube and social media. We are about to launch a project on Kickstarter and all our time and energy has been focused on the project. Stay tuned at the end of the video for more information. For today's project, we built our own table to hold the machine, but any sturdy table will do. We should have used more stable material like MDF for the table because after a few weeks we've discovered a few misalignments due to the wood deformation. We didn't want to use a laptop or a computer for controlling the machine. We had an offline controller laying around, so that's what we chose for the project. So the thing is that we buy, by mistake, some kind of linear guy. It's kind of expensive, so why not use it in the project? It's so satisfying when you create a CAD design and it snaps into place the way it's supposed to. Luckily for us, I have a twin brother who works in a machine shop so we can make us our aluminum parts we need for this. To mount the motors on the new parts, we need to disassemble the motors. Now, after the assembly, the motors will be one with the machine. Now for the fun part, time to align all the T-nuts in the slot. Oh god. We didn't have enough aluminum left, but this is a part we should have made in metal. 
It works great in plastic, but it isn't ideal. We just can't push the machine too hard. I know, I shouldn't use Loctite in plastic parts. I didn't know how to make the belt tensioner system, so I've designed a clip just for the test. I finally keep it because it's working great. Now, time for cable management and cleaning before the final test. I've put all the electronics in the metal enclosure. This is the main voltage input and just beside it the communication port for the offline controller. Then the output for each motor X, Y and Z. Input for the limit switches and the output for the spindle. Here is all the stepper motors driver all labeled. At the side of it, the spindle drive, and underneath, the main power supply. So there you have it, the final result. We've been using this CNC for the past few months and beside the minor problems we mentioned in the video, the machine is perfect for us. Stay tuned for our next projects. By the end of the year, we will launch on Kickstarter one of the first open source large format MSLA 3D printer kit. We will post update on Facebook and Instagram if you are interested. Also, subscribe to our channel if you want to see the build video of this machine. Thanks for watching and have a nice day. See you soon!